Hi, it's Paul from Derivan, and today we're going to create an abstract painting and I'm going to be working on paper. And the other thing is, I want it quite flat and quite sharp edges and big panels of paint. And I don't want to be able to see the brush stroke in my work. So I'm going to add matte medium, and matte medium is going to help me achieve all of those things. So with the matte medium, I'm going to be able to create nice flat surfaces where the brush strokes will dissolve away. I'm going to be able to get nice hard crisp edges up to things because I like to work shape up to shape. And then in the final piece I'm going to be able to photograph that really easily because it's non-reflective. So let's get to it. So with the matte medium I'm just going to add a little squirt to each pile of paint on my palette. So once I've done that, I'm going to combine it with the paint there. That way I can dig into the puddles of paint knowing that they've got the matte medium. So as I plan my abstract here, we're just dropping in some shapes. And I'm sticking to the warm colours at the moment. And I want some repeated shapes. But I also want to make sure that I can ultimately link them in the end. So with all this orange, I want to make sure that I start to break away from that a bit. And now I want to introduce some blue, which is the opposite of the orange, just to join these areas. I'm always careful to leave spaces of white where I want it to be white, and not to sort of think, oh, well, I'll come back and fix that. So every layer of our page has really just one layer of paint at the moment. But we can change that if we find at the end we need to adjust things. So once we've got it all covered, we can then have a quick look. And I reckon at this stage, that yellow above me there, let me just finish here, that yellow could do with a bit of cleaning up. And by cleaning up, I mean, we need to just make it a bit crisper. So it's a nicer color. Yeah, I think that's better. Now I'm still not happy, and I'd rather that top had a much more bold statement, almost as if it was perhaps sky or something. That's better. Now I'm just going to add some black for some really strong contrast. 